how are you doing? It's Crystal Ann Compton and I hope you are having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the five signs that you are a medium. Five signs. I actually have 10 before me, but I don't think we'll have the time to get to all 10. So I'm just going to do five today. Before I do, I just want to tell you that I just got off our preliminary live session for the intuitive intensive, which begins next week. And I am so jazzed. I'm so charged up. The energy in this community and in this program is life shifting, <laughs> groundbreaking, and absolutely evidential and dynamic. The 2020 intuitive intensive is a program specifically designed to turn on your psychic mainframe, meaning connect you to your intuitive abilities. And by the way, everybody has them. Not just connect you to them, but to blast them open so that you can use your abilities in practical ways and also fantastical ways. We talk about angels and ascended masters. We talk about channeling and mediumship. We talk about dimensions and infrastructure, the I am. It is a 12 week program. We start next week. There is still time to get in the community, get in the program and receive. If you want to change your life, if you're ready to take your life to the next level spiritually, metaphysically, in terms of purpose and abilities, drop down to this link, check out the program and register. Registration closes on February 2nd, 2020. All right, back to the video at hand. Five signs that you are a medium. I actually have a document right here and if there's a way I can make this available to you so you can see all 10, I'm gonna try and do that. Check the description box. I'm just gonna deal with the first five. Number one, you experience unexpected anxiety, mood swings, paranoia, OCD, and depression. This one is so important. All my life, I had OCD. I had profound anxiety. I had been to doctors, I had been on medication, and I just thought it was a part of who I was. I was a fearful person. It wasn't until I started exploring my spirituality and how I showed up in the world of spirit that I realized that my anxiety was actually caused by spirits coming into my field. Heads up, we all walk around in what I call a field, which is like a sphere or a grid. And in this grid is contained all the information about you, your energy, your chakras, your auras, your guides, your angels, your purpose, your blueprint, your past lives. It's all in this field and in this grid. And when there's a spirit around and they want to interact with you, they actually have to enter this grid in order to make that connection with you. Well, guess what? That energetic connection shows up in our physical body often as anxiety, as panic, paranoia, and even OCD. Many of us, not all by any means, but many of us are not actually chronically anxious. We are mediums. And what we're experiencing is our physical reaction to the closeness of spirits. So if you're somebody who has anxiety, or who all of a sudden, very anomalous, anomalously in the middle of the day, you were feeling great, but suddenly you are f afraid or you're anxious, ask yourself, is it you or is it something around you trying to make contact? All right, number two, you had imaginary friends when you were a child and even into your teens. These friends could have appeared as people, but they could also have been animals elementals, and even interdimensionals. Did you have an imaginary friend growing up? Did you ever see little beings? I know I did. In fact, one of my first memories was is not of my mom, of my dad, or even my brother. It's of these tree people that lived out in this beautiful banyan tree outside of my room in Lahaina, Maui. There was a man and there was a woman and they sat on this branch and every day I would sit in this beautiful sunbeam and I would talk to them and this would take place telepathically. I would ask them questions and they would answer me and I could hear them telepathically. 
from then I went on into my teen years and I had interactions with all kinds of beings, but I was lucky because I never had parents that disabused me of my abilities. In fact, they were able to contextualize what was happening so I was never afraid. A lot of you didn't have parents like that. A lot of you weren't really encouraged to understand that or to explore that. And so maybe you can faintly remember an imaginary friend that you used to play with or these little beings that used to visit you during the day or at night. If that's you, well, it may mean that you are a medium. All right, number three, you experience anomalous sensations in different places. For example, cold spots, hot spots, and waves of energy. There may be a fuzzy quality to this energy, almost like static energy or white noise, or you may simply feel a spirit is with you without knowing why. That's just a presence. Have you ever felt like, oh, somebody's watching me? You turn around and nobody's there, but you can feel it. Your physical instrument is communicating their presence to you. Or sometimes you'll walk into a room and it's perfectly 72 in the whole house, but there's this one spot that's 65 and you don't know why. Or maybe you even feel in your physical body areas of sensation, rushes of energy. This is often indicative of you picking up on spirits that are in your environment. Number four, you are drawn to certain people, places, and things. This can feel like an actual magnetic pull in your body or a keen and even compulsive interest that you can't explain. Maybe there's a house on your street and you don't know why, but you always stop and look at it like something about it is drawing you in. Maybe there's a person sitting in the coffee shop. You've never seen this person before, but there's something about them that has caught your interest. And it's almost as if you have a feeling like you should go up to them and start a conversation. This is often indicative of a spirit that is connected to a place or connected to a person that is trying to get your attention. And it feels to you like, what's going on? Why am I feeling this? It makes no sense. I don't know who that is. I don't know where I am. But the world of spirit is trying to reach out, connect through your grid, and get a message to you. Last but not least, number five. You see faces of people, or what looks like a film strip that tells a story when you close your eyes, and particularly as you're dropping off to sleep. Have you ever experienced that? I do all the time. In fact, Edgar Cayce, also known as the Sleeping Prophet, spoke about how when he was going into his trance or into his sleep, he would ascend through the different dimensions. And as he did, he would see this panoramic display of various faces, some of which were not pleasant, but he would see that all as he was shifting and altering in order to make connection and bring that information through. Almost every night when I go to sleep, and if I remain aware of what's happening as I'm getting drowsy and not fully awake, but I'm not yet fully asleep. If, if I can hang out there and be aware, I can actually see faces with my eyes closed. They can appear energetic. And sometimes, as I just said, it's almost like it's a film strip and I'm watching this scene happen and go by. This is very indicative of, well, two things. First and foremost, your ability to see into the world of spirit, also called clairvoyance but it's also indicative of mediumship. These are actual ambient intelligences or spirits that are showing up and expressing themselves to you and you're actually perceiving them as you are falling asleep. This makes sense if you think about it because that interbetween state when we're not fully awake and not yet asleep is called hypnagogia and it's a trance state. When we're in trance, we are altered. We're not in our reactive brainwave. We're not thinking and doing. Instead, we're open and we're able to perceive in an expanded way. And when we're in that space in a relaxed way, also aware of what's happening, we can see all kinds of things in the world of spirit. And if you're a medium, you can see spirits. There you have it. Five 
things that might indicate that you are a medium. Let me close by just saying, if you're a medium, what does that mean? Is that a bad thing? Is that a scary thing? Or is that a good thing? I would say to you that all intuitive abilities are a good thing. We would call these the gifts of the spirit. And yes, they're not traditional biblical gifts of the spirit, but nonetheless, they are gifts of the spirit and they are given to you so that you can use them in service to yourself, which is not a bad thing, but also in service to others. That person in the coffee shop who has a spirit connected to him, who is trying to speak to you, that person would be so healed and blessed and touched if you were able to convey a message to them from their departed loved one. Can you imagine? Have you lost anyone that you really loved? Can you imagine if someone came up to you and gave you a message that was evidential in which you knew that you were speaking to the person who passed? That's powerful. It's happened to me. I've delivered messages like that. It's a ministry mediumship. In fact, Jesus Christ himself was a medium. And if you're one of those people who get super caught up in religion and dogma, don't. Jesus during the transfiguration was talking to spirits because he was a natural medium. And Jesus, when he was calling forth Lazarus, who was dead, was talking to a dead person. And Jesus said, greater things than I have done will you do. It's a good thing. Recognize these things about yourself. Notice them. And the next time you do, the next time one of these five things happens or shows up in your life, stop, take a beat, engage it, acknowledge it, and then ask it to show you more. And with an open heart, receive what spirit has for you. All right. Thank you for hanging out. Please like, share, and subscribe. Again, a couple more days to get into the 2020 Intuitive Intensive. Let me tell you, you do not want to miss this program. And until my next video, I hope you know that I got nothing but love for you. Bye guys.